Okay guys, welcome back to the garage. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been doing. Um, besides making up the panel for the uh, cabinet on the all-in-one DC, I've been working on the mill. <clears throat> you can see right here, I've put a new box in to contain all the switches. I'm going to be using a touchscreen monitor uh, on the mill. Um, so I needed a box to hold the e-stop. And then I'm going to have a a start stop station here to be able to turn on the machine um, kind of remotely instead of having to reach down and flip the switch on the cabinet. The up down buttons on this I think I mentioned in a previous video are for the power knee. Um, it, it's got a motorized knee so you just press a button and he comes up and down. Um, the other thing I've been working on is uh, the limit switches on the machine. I'll go handheld held and bring you in on that uh, so you can uh, take a look at the limit switches. I'm not super pleased with them. Um, I think they're kind of fragile. The plastic is not so good, but uh, they seem to function all right, so we'll go with it for now so we can get the machine up and running. I noticed Panasonic makes some, but I don't know if they're just rebranded and it's the same limit switch. I might pick one up and take a look at it. But uh, overall, I think the project has come along nicely. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go handheld and I'll show you uh, the limit switches and where we're at with those. Okay, here's the shot of the uh, positive and negative x-axis limit switches on the table. Um, I had to make these table stops because I didn't have them. And that's what they do is they just run into the, the roller levers of those, of those limit switches. Um, the z-axis actually has micro limit switches inside that cover. Um, you can see here there's a DB9 um, connector on the side of the uh, cover. I'm going to make a new cable and make it longer so it'll make it back to the uh, control cabinet. That's what's on tap for today. The other thing is I took the uh, drum switches. There was a coolant switch up here, drum switch, and then the spindle on reverse forward switch was up here. I took that off since the control will be taking care of all that. And there you can see the, the limit switch for the Y negative. And then the Y positive. <clears throat> the brackets came from another vendor. I actually bought all of them off of eBay. I bought brand new limit switches for them. But I bought the, uh, the uh, brackets um, off of eBay but there is a another vendor that sells them so if you do Bridgeport limit switch kit you'll probably find them. There's a shot of the switch box and to to do use a start stop station there'll be a relay inside the uh, control cabinet. This is a shot of the small electrical cabinet on this mill. The spindle uh, forward reverse switch uh, cable went right up to the to the spindle motor and it was rather short but then from the back of the drum switches this long uh, piece of flex came down and went into this box so I got rid of the uh, short cable that went from the switch to the motor and I used the long one uh, so it's got plenty of reach to make it into the control cabinet. So the only thing that's in here now is the forward reverse contactor for the knee and if you look really hard this is the lube pump it goes across it goes across the other side of the column to the lube pump and then and then this, these three wires, sorry about that, these three wires right here, this is the lube pump, and then these three wires go to a flood coolant pump, which is three phase. I may just change that out. I'm not sure that I'm going to use flood coolant on this machine anyway. I probably use a mist system. It's a little bit better. And then I'll have a small uh, piece of flex conduit going from this cabinet into the uh, centroid all-in-one. Uh, DC control cabinet. 
So the machine, the mill is almost prepped other than making up that DB9 for the for the limit switches on Z. Um, the cooling fan is fed from 240 off the uh, junction box up there. Uh, that cooling fan is kind of in a weird place, isn't it? It's down below blowing up to the motor. Maybe it's trying to keep a sheave cool, I'm not sure.